um, films and uh, parts and footage and put this film together. So, Tomas, thank you so much. I know you worked hard and you made a, a, a wonderful film. So, as you can see, I already said that I do believe that the power of art can affect social change in our community. We are starting with our kids, with our children. Uh, for us, it's really important that every child will get an opportunity to live in peace. And therefore, it's our responsibility to do something about it. Not to give them opportunities to do something good before they are leaving our countries to do something that we don't want to see them um, in pictures on TV. So I put together here a mini UN. Uh, <laughs> Tomas is from Poland. Um, Shirin Nashat is from Iran. And uh, Kate Rothko is from America uh, with her father from Latvia, Russia and myself from Israel, born in Russia, now American too. And I would like to ask you how, in your own work, you wish and bring and hope to bring peace or change or any social change in your community. So let me start with you, Shireen. May I start with you? Just tell me about your work and what do you hope to achieve in it? Uh, first of all, I wanted to congratulate you uh, it's really moving to see this uh, film because it really is indicative of everything that you are about and what City Arts is doing, and I think more people should know about it. And um, so thank you for this honor. Um, I mean, just my humble experience is that I think a lot of artists um, approach chaos, war, violence, political crisis um, in the way that it, it, it affects their personal lives, and I think for me, um, I've, I've done work that, I'm doing work that is very personal, but has a, a potential to look beyond my personal life and make sense of the, the way in which, for example, in my country, a revolution has uprooted people, uh, the violence that resulted, the separation, the amount of suffering that the revolution had caused, but without being biased and without, um, without pointing fingers, and I think, you know, what this film was really about is um, arts and artists have an ability to depict history and attack horror uh, in a very humanistic dimension that is very emotionally charged. And, and, and so my work has really been, you know, based on my experience as a human being on this planet, but somehow it's found its way of going beyond who I am and what my personal history is and really sort of tell the story of the Iranian revolution and how, in fact, it had caused immense amount of suffering for people. And it continues to be that way. So I don't mean to dominate the conversation, but, you know. Tell us about the film you did with women in Iran and their fight. Well, I mean, all of my work, and not just the film A Woman Without Men, which, by the way, was showing in this theater, and I have to say, I have immense respect for this co-opty as well, for showing great alternative films. Um, I mean, one of the um, subjects that I've been gra gravitating toward is the repression of women, and, and how, for example, I as a woman have always felt like an outcast, and, 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 but looking beyond myself at women from Iran, and how the socio-political and religious situation has made them really cornered uh, up against the wall. So many of, almost all of my work uh, is through the lens of woman experience in the Iranian society. And Woman Without Men was the story of four women who left their lives behind in, in, in the city of Tehran uh, against all kinds of you know, troubles that they had on personal and social levels and, and took refuge in an orchard uh, where it was completely free from the, socio the society and created their own kind of um, sanctuary. And there they were able to create their own laws. And it was a magic realist um, novel that I readapted into a film. Again, in a very allegorical way, 
talked about uh, looking for a place of <coughs> exile where you could be free, in particular for this woman um, from a very masculine world and atrocities. And, um, and so there they found you know, their own heaven, but they had to face their own other kinds of problems. So anyway, all of my work uh, in one way or another addresses the repression of women. But again, not in a didactic and um, sort of propagandic way, but in a very subtle and emotional way. Very hopeful. And I do think it affects change. So let's hope for it.